I'm single. And 40. Is it too late for me? Shall I ever become a bride? No, I shall not. And I shall shut myself away, as I should, for I am spinster. It's over for me. I'm past my chance for love. I'm destined to be forever unhappy. I am bitter and sad. I will become a cat lady who knits. It's over for me. But heed me as an example of what can happen when you reach the ancient age of 40 and are single. Not over. It's just the beginning. If you'd asked me this question 15 years ago, I would have said, yes, if you're single and 40, it's over for you. Emphatically. Mockingly. I was kind of a little shit. But now I am 40, and it isn't as funereal as I thought it would be. I have a very different vantage point now that I'm over the hill. Because I've just gotten to the top of the hill, and the view is spectacular. I can look back and see how far I've come, and I can see that the ride from here on out is smoother. Not because there are no setbacks or bumps in the road, but because I've learned how to deal with challenges on the way up. There is not enough money in the world to entice me to be in my 20s again. The confidence and self-respect I have now is worth a lot more than a chance to be young and hot again. I certainly never felt hot when I was in my 20s. If I'd had a lot of money in my 20s, it would have made me feel deeply insecure and unworthy inside, whilst acting like a complete entitled ass on the outside. But let's examine what we mean by over and debunk some of the myths around turning a certain age and being a certain tax filing status. I'm past my chance for love. People don't have expiration dates. It's not proof that you're defective if you haven't been chosen by a certain age. Also, how toxic is that line of thinking that because a man hasn't marked you as acceptable, you're now an outcast? Also, how disturbing is it that it's so easy to talk about women like products from an assembly line? Interchangeable, replaceable? It makes my skin crawl, but I feel like it's not too far off the mark of how women are still viewed. I have to say that I feel like I have more to offer a partner now than I did when I was a desirable 20-something. I'm more patient, more accepting, way more forgiving than I was then. And I know what I need from a partner, and I can mostly tell them what it is that I want. I don't expect anyone to read my mind like I did back when I was 20. Being 40 is like becoming a vintage wine, not expired milk. I'm destined to be unhappy, bitter, and sad. What? I'm going to be unhappy because I don't have a special someone to yell at because they left their socks on the floor? Again? It's pretty easy for a person who is unhappy, bitter, and sad to stay that way, even if they tie the knot. A wedding isn't therapy. Most people probably should use the money they spend on a wedding for therapy. Because our healthcare system makes getting help for mental illness expensive. I digress. Of course I want married people to be happily married, but getting married doesn't make you happy. I can tell you that for sure. I am way less bitter than I would have been if I'd gotten married in my 20s. I've had the time and space to grow up a little bit. Okay, a lot. I shall become a crazy cat lady who knits. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I can't with the cat lady thing. They don't hand you a cat and a ball of yarn when you turn 40. People, married and single alike, have pets. A single person who has pets isn't crazy because they have pets. Single people don't get pets to substitute for people. I have a dog because I like dogs and apparently I love cleaning up messes. It's not crazy to have a pet. Almost 70% of people in the US have pets. Also not crazy to have a hobby. Why the digs at knitting? Because misogyny. This phenomenon of labeling things that are traditionally feminine is stupid, like the basic bitch, romance novels are drivel, and the color pink. <sighs> no one ever calls watching sports dumb, even if it is kind of dumb, pointless, and ruins people's lives. Like NFL players that have brain damage from getting hit in the head repeatedly. I will die alone. Grim. Also, none of us knows for sure how we're going out. I shall be childless forever. Um, uh, for some of us, yes, because it's our choice. It's not a punishment. It's exactly what we want. And if a woman wants kids, she should have kids. 
by herself if she wants to. This isn't the scarlet letter. A woman who has a child and isn't married is, to my mind, a bitch with a labia of steel. Being a mom is a hard fucking job. It's not immoral for a woman to up and decide to have kids all by herself. It's not over when you hit 40. And I'm not alone in feeling that way. Here's what some other women had to say. Something that's evolved for me in my 40s is self-acceptance. I used to heavily base my decisions on external guidance, almost seeking permission from someone or something separate from me. But I finally learned in my 40s that I have everything I need to navigate life's ups and downs if I just listen to and trust myself. I've also found it wonderfully liberating to finally stop worrying so much about what other people think. Who cares? isn't an expiration date. It's the age of maturity, like a savings bond I ripened into my full value, or at least part of it, because I'm 40, not dead, when with my genes, I've got at least 50 more years to go. This is only the beginning. 